uh, Javon, can you just talk about your performance today, especially with a lot of players uh, out? Can you just talk about a, kind of how you had to step up specifically tonight? Um, really, all this summer, I've just been working on leading that team, uh, make sure everybody is got uh, got where they're going, doing what they're supposed to do, just being that leader, even though being that senior out there on the court. So, I mean, tonight was just another performance where I got my team involved first and then, you know, just came out there and got the dub. And then throughout two games, you've only had one turnover. Can you just talk about your mindset when it comes to passing and taking care of the balls as the point guard right now? Uh, I'm really shocked about that myself. But, uh, you know, I just, I'm just i just trying this year just to value the ball, even though when they uh, just move me up to the position, just so they uh, value the ball more. And, Brandon, with your performance specifically, can you talk about your mindset? Um, you're, it seems like you're more aggressive on the offensive end tonight compared to Wednesday. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that, but I, I just pretty much do whatever I possibly can just to help my team out in any way. If it's that specifically on the defensive end or anything like that or getting some easy buckets to jumpstart the team, just doing whatever I can. Uh, and then again for you, Brandon, um, tonight was a really physical game. Do you, do you guys welcome that challenge or is it something that kind of affects you a little bit? Oh, no, I definitely welcome physicality. Uh, past couple years in college, that's something that I've become accustomed to. So it's just like another day for me. And then for both of you, what did you think were the biggest challenges in the game tonight? Mm, I'll say staying focused throughout the entire game because uh, in the first half we had a couple of lapses on the defensive end and definitely could have put the game away a lot earlier than when we did, but that's something that we could correct, so I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, yeah, like you said, we definitely could have put the game away a little bit earlier, but uh, we had some missing laps in that first half. That coach was telling us, oh, we went back in the uh, halftime. We, I just feel like we pulled that together and then it made it come through. This is for either of you guys, but uh, Wednesday night and tonight, it seemed like the second half performance was a little bit better than the first half. Uh, was there anything that coach says to you guys at halftime or any adjustments you guys specifically made tonight? Um, just really just lock in on the defense because, like I said, we was just uh, out there the first half. We had some mental laps, and he just told us at uh, halftime, just lock in, stay focused, and that's what we did. Anything else, Steve? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, well, you know, I thought we did a much better job in the second half of defending and rebounding the basketball. You know, going in at the half, they were shooting 46% from two and 55% from three. And, again, you know, that's not the formula for us to be a successful basketball team. We got to really defend and rebound the basketball. And the boards were even 17 to 17 at the half. So we, we got to be able to get stops and score, get some consecutive scores. And we did a better job of that, obviously, in the second half. And our guys shared the basketball. But, you know, I'm really proud of the way we defended and rebounded the basketball. You know, Central Michigan has some talented players. Tony Barbie is a great coach that's been doing this for a long time, and he's going to get that program growing. So, you know, they, they run some really good stuff offensively. They, they, they got some length, and he's got some really good players over there. So our guys kind of settled in after the half, came out, shared the basketball. We were able to get some stops, and um, we are able to kind of extend that lead a little bit. Coach, anything specifically you, you changed up uh, on the defensive end at halftime or anything you, you told them um, during the break? Well, I, I told them we needed to guard somebody, but they, they listened to it. I told them that before the game. They didn't listen very well. But, you know, we, we started guarding some of the screens a little bit differently that their big guys were setting. And I think that, you know, helped with our guards being able to get through some of those screens and get under. So we did make some adjustments. Um, I think our zone was a little bit better in the second half of recognizing where the shooters were and getting to the shooters. And then we did a better job on the boards. But, you know, we just, there was more of a sense of urgency, I would have to say, in the second half on the defensive side of the basketball. And then could you talk about Javon's performance? Uh, he's obviously playing big, mi big minutes right now. Can you just talk about how he's leading the offense and what you're seeing out of him? Well, you know, not just leading the offense, you know, Javon is doing a great job of leading our team. You know, he, he's a great young man, a very high character young man that has a, a high basketball IQ. And we're asking Javon, to obviously, to do a lot out there, playing a lot of minutes at the point, um, having a guard, the opposing point guard as well. But he's doing a good job. You know, he has seven assists, zero turnovers tonight. So he's, he's doing a great job making decisions, um, rebounding the basketball, and just providing great leadership for us out there on and off the court.
And coach, one more question for me. Uh, do you have an update on Tyon's status and kind of how, how he's doing? You know, he, he's doing good, but I, just, I don't have an update at this point, but he, he is doing well. Um, and can you talk on Brandon's performance too? Like he was second in the team in points and stuff. What did, how did you think he looked? You no, know, Brandon's doing well. You know, he has 20 points. He has seven rebounds, but he did a great job of guarding. You know, we're asking Brandon to do some things, you know, switching off into some faster, quicker guards. He's doing a great job of keeping those guys in front. But again, when we brought Brandon here, these are the things we expected from Brandon. You know, Brandon's played in the Big Ten, has some success at Minnesota. So, you know, he's prepared. He's ready for this. And, you know, the way he goes, through practice and takes care of his body. He's preparing himself to have some big games. Stubbs, uh, with you having you know, six scholarship players at the end of the last game, seven in this one, you know, how have you had to alter your game plan? We, we, we've definitely had to alter it quite a bit because depth isn't you know our strength right now. But again, at the end of the day, it's like I told them guys in the locker room, we're going to play the game and there's no excuses. We've got to find a way to figure it out. In whatever way that may be, we, we got to get the job done. You know, nobody wants to hear any excuses or, you know, how many guys were down or what we're missing. The guys that we have, we have great confidence in that locker room that can come out and perform. And we're just asking them to come in and do their job. Any other questions? All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you.